On Monday, October 15th, some local Michigan State fans got a surprise visit from Sparty and a few Spartan cheerleaders. The group came bearing gifts for Price Redman and his siblings. The visit was organized by Jeff Snyder, an MSU student and Lake Orion native. Uh, so today we're here uh, for Price. He is a three-year-old little boy with neuroblastoma, and we're here to just kind of cheer him up a little bit. We brought Sparty and the Michigan State cheerleaders here. They're huge state fans. Uh, it's awesome. It's really nice to see him smile. Price is the three-year-old son of Ben and Katie Redman. In August, he was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma and is currently undergoing treatment. It was found just because he had a little fever and some leg pain, and his pediatrician did some blood work and sent us over to the hospital, and that's when they found it. What's his treatment consist of right now? Right now he has several rounds of chemotherapy. Um, because it's such a, an aggress aggressive cancer, his chemotherapy is strong and higher doses, so there's a lot of side effects to it. So far he's been very blessed with um, mild side effects, and um, after that he'll have surgery and then um, two stem cell transplants. Um, let's see, then he has radiation and antibody therapy. Although insurance helps cover most of the expenses associated with the treatment, the family is welcoming any kind of support they can get from the community, including prayers. Honestly, the outpouring of love has been amazing. Um, we ask people to pray for him. That's why his page is Prayers for Price, and that's on Facebook. The biggest issues are travel expenses. We have five kids, and so um, anytime that we're gone, they're going to be with other people. Food, gas, lodging. We do a lot of our treatments over at U of M, so we'll be traveling over there quite frequently as well. If you'd like to offer support to the family, you can visit Prayers for Price on Facebook. You can also visit the Prayers for Price page on GoFundMe.com. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.